Good evening. It is the 16th of March, 2023. Um, excuse me, it's the evening of the 15th. 16th will be tomorrow, um, Wednesday. Sorry. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long week. been working hard. Very harder than I would like to, but so is everybody else, probably. So, um, what we have on the table today, we're looking at med sirocco. And, eh, it's two C's. It's probably meant. It's probably meant the English pronunciation, uh, since it has two C's. So it's sir Sirac, sirocco. I think is how we say it in English, and I prefer sirocco because that's why I know it as <laughs> the Spanish the Spanish pronunciation. But and it's a strategic card game and it is put out by Hexism which is a French game company um, speaking of that you know I guess in the Anglosphere if you will United States, Canada uh, Australia uh, New Zealand Great Britain of course you know, there, there's a war game tradition in all those places in the Anglosphere, right? But outside of that, you know, I always talk about um, Brazil. Brazil has a pretty decent war gaming group in South America, a war gaming, um, how do you want to say, pedigree down in South America. You can find war games being played there um, a lot of places. And um, Spain has a good war game group. And um, even and France does too, by the way. I mean, you see um, a lot of places in Europe, but France has some good war games. They've um, you've got, you know, good, some good war game magazines, right? And um, Hexism did this game. And this was given to me a while back. I just didn't ever did do a video of, on it. Uh, a friend of mine gave this to me. It is, if you ever played Atlantic Storm, the old Avalon Hill game. Um, man, it's winding down Avalon Hill. It's getting to be one of the last, right? It's right. It's close to being released with other games like um, uh, um, For the People, right? So it's very late in Avalon Hill. In Avalon Hill's uh, existence. And it was put out, and it was uh, designed by Ben Knight, and then, of course, Ben Knight designed the, I believe it was Ben Knight, designed the um, Pacific Typhoon as well. And both those games are very similar. I'll be honest with you, I like to think that uh, Pacific Typhoon's a little more chaotic. I think I prefer that. But it's still, they're still just trick-taking games, right? World War II trick-taking games. And Med Sirocco, the same way. It's the same type of trick-taking game, although I do think it tries to do a few things different. Where Atlantic Storm has, what is it, convoys and Pacific uh, Typhoon has uh, uh, battles. This one has, you, it could be either, convoy or a battle, right? And if you were wondering what a Sirocco is, it's a storm as well. Remember Atlantic Storm, Pacific Typhoon, this is following it right there with the uh, uh, Sirocco. A Sirocco is um, similar in a lot of ways to a hurricane, right? It's that warm air from the Sahara Desert moving northward, and it's hitting with that cool... Um, European air, and there in the Mediterranean, you have that kind of uh, you have hurricane force winds, and a huge, it can develop a huge storm. The phenomenon is a huge storm develops, right? And a lot of places in North Africa uh, see heavy wind, and even places in southern Europe, right? Um, Europe doesn't have a lot of extreme weather like we do over here, right? Yet, this is one of the extremes you'll find there, and it's. Um, but that's just that's neither here nor there. It's just the phenomenon of the Sirocco. 
So let's look at the game. And it's oh a game I get designed by um, Florin Coupier, I think. So let's look at it here. If I can read this blurb or not. Um, June 1940 through December 1943, Mediterranean Sea. Standing alone, the British Empire must replenish its strategic bases in Malta and, and Alexandria by convoys coming from most part, from the most part, from Gibraltar. Each journey is long and dangerous facing Italian SM-84 torpedo, torpedo planes and German U-boats. On the other side, Italy and Germany are sending more and more troops to North Africa under constant threat from aircraft in Malta and facing the imminent entry of the United States into the war. All right, very cool. Very cool. And um, so you have the, some French in there, right? I'm telling you some of the con and telling you it's printed in France, French flag. Yes, a lot of good war gamers in, in France, <laughs> as there should be. World War One, World War Two, all that stuff. And it's one to two playing time, one to two hours. That's the trick taking part of it. You're not playing one hand that long the hands go actually well the other games the hands actually go pretty pretty quick and players two to six the more the merrier in this game as far as i am concerned one of these games right the art looks kind of nice on the cards let's uh let's get into it and look at it well we've got a, a die is there two or just one There's two. There's another one. Uh, set of dice. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. I'm assuming. I'm gonna roll for different reasons. Okay, a bunch of cards here. No need to open all these, I don't think, but we can take a look at them. Fliegerfuhr Africa, I think it says. It's a history card, it says. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Sunderland flying boat, right? It's a British car. That one there is a German, obviously. And uh, I like the. I like the. Um, the art. And then what we have here. Battle card. Punta Stilo. Naval encounter. All right, so battle card. I guess the other ones were... Yeah, I'm not sure about the... Huh. I'm not sure about the... Uh, we'll look at it. We might, we might look at that in a minute. I'm not sure about the... Uh, the art style on those cards. We'll, we'll see if it makes sense to me later. Okay, Med, Sor Med Sirocco rules summary, all right. Well, we might look at that, that'll give you a one in, um, in, Fran in French, and in French there too. All right, so, let's look at Med Sirocco rules summary. Players cut operation deck for deal, right. Dealer shuffles, force deck, and deal six cards to each player. The remainder in the force the remainder is in the force deck pile. Shuffle operation deck and remove top twenty from play. Don't remove any in advance game. Okay. So um, advanced game you keep all the cards. Okay. Right. Each convoy lasts one round and each battle lasts two rounds. Okay, so the convoy is just going to be one round, but if you go, okay. Round leader flips over the top, over top operation, flips top two in advance game, okay. Round leader calls suit, air, surface, sub, or combine, okay. 
and goes first clockwise turn order, it is always combined in a battle. All right. Each player turn order may do one of the following. Play a regular card either side, allied or axis. That's when you're jumping on the side, whatever side you got, whatever side, whatever cards you got, whatever would be the biggest benefit, whatever the most, uh, the most, uh, yeah, uh, whatever the you can win by, is you side up in each hand, right? Um, play ultra or beatiness to take last turn, okay. Discard any one card or either in or either hand in convoy. Discard entire hand in first round of a battle. All cards played must match the year and type of operation card. All right, so air two, surface six, submarine. Okay, if during the operation you play a destiny card after its victim, you immediately destroy the victim unless the victim is in an operation. All right. A bonus card must match the top of its parent's card. So it's air, surface, you got binoculars. Okay, submarine, periscope. In all purpose, you have a window. All right. If you play an Admiral special card, You alone may play two regular cards instead of one or change declare suit to combine effects. All right. If you play red, okay, that's some special of the cards. End of operation, roll one dial for each question, then dice for a double question mark. The total, total the combined values in, de, in declared suit for Allies and axis side with the highest combat value wins. All right, very cool. Yeah, it sounds. Uh, yeah, sounds like. Uh, let's look at the book a little bit. Those are just play. Eight. Sounds much like Atlantic Storm. All right. All right. That's 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 the French. I'm gonna not even try that. Oops, yep, let's go with the English. It's your freighter's load line. Victim of destiny, Punto Stilo. Year of the operation, for 1940. Convoy or battle, it's a battle card. Victory points, and a card number. Okay. Force cards, victims. Name. Okay, well, that's what they were. They were the they were the victims' name in there. Okay, Coventry's the victim. All right. Rule, rules for two player. Okay, they got different rules for two player. I wonder how this is going to do that. I, I think that. Although I think the Admiral's edition of um, Atlantic Storm had rules for two players, may even have one player rules. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I think Atlantic Storm and um, Pacific Typhoon was a three player game. So you got rules for two players, which is good. Again, even though you play a two player, I think, like I said, the more the merrier in a trick taking game. It's just fun. It's just funner. More fun. All right. So that's it, Ben Sirocco. I need to get to playing it. I think that, I think um, a lot of my friends will like it. Um, I was glad this was given to me because I didn't own either uh, Pacific Typhoon or Atlantic Storm. Uh, like both of those games, I knew a guy down in uh, was playing it with was. Uh, Marathon, Florida, down in the Keys is where he's no longer with us, um, but that's where that's who's I used back in the day. So yeah, um, there it is, man. All right, 
I don't know about the availability of it. I'm assuming you can get it. I'm assuming it's not too hard to get. Again, it's a French company, French designer, but it is in English. In French tem- too, in French as well. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure about the availability of it. I'm sure you can find it, but, yeah, I would say it's a pretty decent little game. Don't know the pricing on it either. Um, but it is what it is. So, that's what I got for you today. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. And hopefully I'll have something for hopefully I'll have something different for you next week. I've been saying that for like three weeks. But the game that I've ordered still hasn't come. I gotta I'm either gotta cancel it and reorder or something. I don't know. But talk to you soon. Y'all be good. Be careful out there. Stay safe. Bye bye now.